Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video, and welcome if you are new here. Hi, hello, my name is Whitney, <laughs> and today we are back into the 100 Baby Revenge Challenge. I, off the top of my head, actually don't know what number part this is, so please forgive me, but it is a part of the 100 Baby Revenge Challenge, and that is for certain. That's definitely true. <laughs> so let's get back into playing. I don't really have anything to say at the beginning of this episode, I don't really have anything to give you. I have no little fun facts. I'm so sorry. I have nothing. So we're just going to jump straight back over to Ron and see what's going on for this part. Okay. So as you can see, we are joining and all the kids are already at school. Actually, no, they're not. What are you doing? She's not at school. She's eating. Hello. Go to school. Goodness me. Which one is this? Betsy. Betsy, Betsy, boo. Absolute betrayal. I can't believe this. <laughs> I had to fix the bedroom right before recording this part. There was actually nothing wrong with it. But last time it wouldn't work. I deleted a bunch of furniture. This time it's working. I don't know whether I might need to change the beds, but at least right now it is working. So we're just going to leave it and we'll see if they have issues with it tonight. I did install the, what are these called? Mobiles over the top of the cribs because I've now played a bit more with infants. Uh, hello. <laughs> I've now played a bit more with infants um, in our career legacy challenge on my Twitch stream, which shameless plug, I stream like four nights a week and we play a lot of The Sims 4, so you should come and follow me. Twitch.tv forward slash Whitney is gaming. There you go. So I've, I've had a little bit more experience now with the infants and getting them to sleep is much easier if you have the mobiles on top. So I've learned. So now Flagon is sleeping soundly in, oh, it's New Year's Eve tomorrow. Now Flagon is sleeping soundly in their crib with their mobile that lulls them to sleep. And Ronald over here is being a little bit lazy and he is still asleep at 10 a.m. Mind you, I sleep way later than that. So you know what, Ronald, you get that rest. You get that sleep. Today, we are going to be focused Focusing on his next flame. I do believe at the end of the last episode, we confirmed that it will be Clara. I think I called her Sara. It's not Sara, it's Clara. So we're going to be going after Clara in this episode. So the aim for this episode is to take Clara on a date. And then I think after Clara, we might go for Lana or maybe Tina because Tina bothers me. <laughs> I don't like Tina Tinker. At the moment, John is just... John? <laughs> John? Who's John? Ron is just getting a little bit of rest. Oh goodness. Uh, hello? I heard about the passing of someone special to you. I wanted to offer my con condolences. I literally... I unalived you. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't be offering me that. We'll have uh, Ron kind of look after himself, get ready for the day. I don't know whether the house needs any attention. I Oh, okay, we have a broken sink. So we'll, we'll come and repair that and then mop up the puddle and just kind of fix the house up. But we won't have the date here. We will go somewhere else for it. I don't really know where. I didn't really think about that. Oh, this needs repairing as well. Okay. And Misty is a big, beautiful baby girl now and she's hungry. So we'll give her some food as she should eat. We want her to be a big girl. She needs to grow up all big and strong for daddy Ron over here. It's already 1226. These kids will get home at three. Oh my gosh, social bunny. <laughs> Thanks, Brittany. Wait, when did, are the ghosts painting? <gasps> are the ghosts painting for us? Oh my gosh, that is amazing. If the ghosts are painting and I can sell it, perfection. That would be so good. Yeah, let's sell that. No, bud, 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 bud. We've got so much to do. Bud, bud, bud. We've got so much to do. I love seeing Misty so happy. Look at her. What a big lady. I love her so much. Oh, she she kind of growled at me. Okay. While he's outside, we will... Um, we're going to sell all, I guess. Actually, no. We'll, we'll harvest all and then he can grab everything. If we harvest all, then we can get it in our inventory and then we can sell it from there with the multi-sell tool because I don't think he has the ability to like super sell right now, which is when they go around and they sell everything in the garden. So wait, is it New Year's Eve today? Should we go out for New Year's with... Oh, it's New Year's tomorrow. 
Hmm, it looks like he's sorting out his needs, so I'm gonna let him do that. Um, and we are going to sell all the stuff that he just got, which is all this stuff. And we'll sell all of those for 490 simoleons because every little helps. All the kids, by the way, are also still miserable because they saw what's her face, Beatrix, pass away, which is just, it's just not ideal, you know? <laughs> it's just not what I wanted out of life, but you know what? It's fine, I suppose. But yeah, they, they can't constantly cry. It's kind of inconvenient, actually. What can you do? Nothing. Nothing. Kids are home from school. Perfect. Um, I'm going to... No, don't come and ask advice. I know that's what you're going to do without me looking at it. They're all going to come and do their homework because they all need to become A grade students. I don't know where she got that. Oh, that was her Christmas present. I was like, I don't know where she got that from. Where did you get this bunny from? What the heck? I want this bunny. Did you steal this? This is my bunny now. How dare you keep things from me? Oh yes, yeah, she's, Eleanor swiped an object while she was at school. Hello, what did she get? The heck is that? Where is that? I don't know where that is. You're only swiping objects at school. Okay, girly, go off. We have the high chair now. So I'm going to have him come and help Flug and try first baby food. Um, it's 3 p.m. So let's do something appropriate for the time of day. Not that it really matters. Oh, we'll do crushed carrots. Okay, great. We're gonna go do that. Oh, that needs to go downstairs. There's always so much cleaning and tidying to do in this one. Buddy, why are you... No, you're, you're not gonna go and ask him advice. You're, you're simply not. No, no, no. You're going to do your homework. Are you all doing your homework? Okay, good, they are. Flagon is unsure about crushed carrots, that's fine. Oh, I just gave you a bath and now your face looks like that. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm not about that. Let me double check my rules that I wrote down. I'm keeping track of all the rules now. Okay, um, let me pause quickly just while I grab this. You can't age newborns up early, so they have to age up naturally and the infants age up after trying all the foods. So they don't have to like them all, but they have to try them all once. So that's what we'll do. We, we have to, he has to try every single food. Oh my gosh, wait, look at this little face. Are you kidding me? I just, <laughs> I just looked back. What is that? <laughs> Let's see, should we see if Clara wants to come over or where shall we go with her? Yeah, maybe we should, let's let's give her a call and see if she will actually just come over. Like see if we have a good enough relationship with her that she will turn up. I think she will. Hi Jenna, Jenna is wondering if I want to go over to her house and hang out. Jenna, Jenna's our end game. I love you so much, Jenna, but actually I need to romance somebody else tonight. I'm so sorry. Let's invite Clara to hang out. We'll let the kids kind of finish their homework and then maybe we'll go out with Clara. That would be very, very nice. Maybe we'll just go to a bar or something. I'm not sure if there's anyone we need to avoid. Hey, she's coming over. Hey, she's here. <laughs> Offer her a rose. Let's start off her the way we mean to continue. Hi, Clara baby. Um, She is, she doesn't like us very much, but she is very romantic with us. So, you know, that's a thing. We just need to get that friendship up because I don't think she will, uh, she won't have a partner for us unless she likes us a lot. So we will need to actually get Jenna. Seriously, Jenna. <laughs> Jenna needs to go away. Uh, where did she go? Clara. I don't like it when I lose Sims on this lot because it, it they've probably gone somewhere I don't want to go. Is she going to paint? Listen, bestie, this is not it. You know what? We're going to travel. We're going to go right now. The kids have all finished their homework, I think, so we don't really need to be here. I hope that she's going to travel with me. Let's go to a bar. What bars do we have? Um, what do we have in world? I don't think I have any builds in this save. At least I'm not... I don't think I do. Let's let's just go to the bar in Willow Creek. Oh, this, the blue, it's a nightclub? Okay, <laughs> sure, sure thing. And me and Clara will go. Hopefully Jenna won't turn up there. I don't think she will, <laughs> but you, you never know. But who really knows? Um, Flagon's gone to daycare, great. We will share photos with her, maybe of our kids. We will give her a suave kiss. Um, we will, I need to get the friendly up, Whitney. Need to get the friendly up. Stop with the flirts, we need to get the friendly up. We need some fun, but we're not really hungry or anything, so we don't need to get food here. They're just constantly having a suggestive conversation, which, you know, I get it. Oh my gosh, wait, who is this? Oh, that's fine. I thought that was Jenna. <laughs> I was like, you've got to be kidding me. Let's actually get to know her. You know, it would be handy to, to know. <laughs> 
the person we're planning on having be our next partner. Jenna, oh my gosh, Jenna. Quick question. <laughs> Jenna, she knows full well what is happening. I feel like she's trying to make Ron jealous. Like, I feel like she's like, you know, you can have all these other partners and I can have other people in my life too. <laughs> you know, like she's she's really pulling that thread. She's talking about Dominic Fires. Like, <laughs> isn't that the partner of somebody that we... Wait, is that the partner of somebody that we've gotten rid of? She knows too much. <laughs> We're gonna play, we're gonna play chicken with her and say, I think you should go for it. <laughs> is that the partner of somebody that we got rid of? It is, <gasps> the last one, Beatrix. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my gosh, Jenna. She knows, she's, she is for sure playing chicken with us. She's like, she's trying to tell us that she knows to be like, listen, I'm not about to turn you in. Like, you know, I'm here for it. Like, I'm here to support you. I want to be in on it. Let me be your bonnie. <laughs> Jenna! <laughs> Jenna! Jenna would Snowfall go on a date? Jenna. <laughs> Jenna, I'm so busy. Jenna, I'm so busy. I can't. Gossip about family drama. Gosh, because we have we <laughs> We have so much family drama. I can't. Okay. Well, Clara is slowly starting to like us. We'll propose a crazy scheme to her. We should go inside and we should go and get a drink. Um, there's nobody in here that we don't want to see us, is there? No, I think we're... F I think we're fine. Order drink for... Oh. I'm just ordering a drink for Clara. That's kind of sus. <laughs> That's a little bit sus. You're not getting a drink for yourself? Oh no, order drink. Oh, here we go. Order drinks for group. Oh, let's be fancy. Let's have some wine. Great, and then we'll go... I'm, I'm surprised there's not like seating area out here, but that looks like a nice little secluded area where we can go and sit. Or we could go sit by the fire. Maybe we'll go sit by the fire um, once we've got our drinks. Come on, Clara. No, take your drink with you. Okay, good. He's taking his drink. Oh, look at this setting. We're by the fire. Oh my goodness. Okay, well let's well let's complain about the cold because it's so cold. But we have a a cozy fireplace to be here by. We'll tell an unbelievable story. This is quite cozy. Like, this is quite a nice little. I mean, it's not even a date. They're not even having a date right now. Um, they're just kind of getting to to know each other. Um, we will we'll lie about our career. I'm not sure if she will know. We'll see if she's easy to fool. Um, this is a nice, easy kind of test the water. We'll propose a crazy scheme to her, which is clearly her leaving her husband for us. We'll ask if she's single. Um, we know she's not, but we'll ask to make it clear that we know. Give her a bold pickup line. We are nothing if not bold. <laughs> she's married to Bjorn, not for much longer. We'll brag about our baby. She's really loving us. This gal is... Da, 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 da. This gal is not family oriented. Oh, wait, she didn't like something? Oh, she didn't like us bragging about our baby. Interesting. Okay, we'll discuss our interests. Can we apologize? Do we need to? I don't know. We'll gossip about other parents and let's... Where's she going? No, 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 no. You're not leaving. You. Where are you going? Excuse me. Uh, she left. Absolutely not. Well, it is 11 p.m. It is quite late. Okay, we will... You know what? We will. We'll go through until tomorrow and we'll do New Year's with her. We'll do two days. I tend to be doing two days in a lot of my um, videos. I'm trying to like get back into a rhythm to figure out like how long I like the videos to be and how many like Sims days that's good for. I think two days works okay. It makes like a 30 minute video, maybe a little bit longer, but I think that's okay. Let me know actually if like the length of video that you guys enjoy for like this sort of thing. Like if you're liking the 30, 35 minute videos. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> if you're liking the 30 to 35 minute videos or if you like prefer shorter, like what sort of thing you're enjoying, um, I'd love to know. So please do let me know and it can help me make content that you guys are enjoying. And I hope you're enjoying everything that I've done so far. I really hope you are. I have no clue when I'm gonna start posting these, but I'm excited for them to go live. He's feeling pretty good. He, he really loved that nectar and he, uh, 
Oh, he's happy from sharing parenting tips. That's quite cute. But he's super tired. So we're just gonna meet these people just so we get them on our friends list. Perfect, right? I literally just wanted to get them on our friends list. So that is good. We're gonna actually head home and I think we're gonna ask Clara on a date tomorrow and hopefully she will like that. Let's head back to Forgotten Hollow. I'm so glad that this is not like the asylum challenge and I don't have to take all of my, all of everybody with me when I travel. <laughs> No thanks. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay. It's was it snowy here before we left? I don't think it was. Oh, okay. We need to feed the cow plant and oh my gosh, sort out these kitties. They're not tired. I really hate this about the Sims that it's like no time has changed at all. So they're like not tired. Hopefully they'll stop mourning soon because I really can't vibe with this. What are you doing? No. What are you? What are you doing? <laughs> doing why are you angry oh because somebody's voodooing you yeah that makes sense uh we'll assign this bed to you eleanor and you can go to sleep i know they're like not tired but they really should be it's 1 a.m um oh you're eating that salad rather you than me buddy you're actually not even that hungry oof i would not eat that salad misty is fed and is happy he is hungry and needs fun but is so tired that he doesn't care we're gonna come and play a lullaby on this and put flagon to bed he will sleep so that'll be fine perfect wait what are you doing wait no what why did you put why did you put him in there no put him to sleep put flagon to bed are you kidding me? Where are you going? And why did you put him in there? I'm so confused. Play a lullaby. No, oh my gosh, stop. No, no. Put Flagon to sleep. I hate this about babies, that you put them down and they ask to be picked up. And so the Sim just does, the Sim just picks them up. And it's like, no, the baby doesn't know what's best for it. Okay. Right, so Ron is asleep, everyone else is slowly getting to sleep, and I'm gonna speed through the night and see you in the morning. Ron's awake. Ron, are you? Oh, he actually is. Well slept, goodness me. He really needs some fun. The cow plant is looking great, so that's fine. What can he do for fun? You know what would be really helpful is if he enjoyed painting. <laughs> That would be really helpful if you simply enjoyed painting. I don't really think that's gonna be what happens though. I might have him just come and you know what he can do? Oh my gosh, he can he can watch the cooking channel. <laughs> Maybe he'll stop making fires if he watches the cooking channel. We can only hope and dream. <laughs> oh my gosh, do you see this? That's a happy child without a morning mood lit. Who would have thought? My goodness. Why do all the kids wake up and want to ask Ron things all the time? Right, you're doing extra credit work. You are still asleep. You are eating you are the one that's trying to come down here and talk to me. So instead you can go through this bathroom, sort yourself out and you don't need food, but you do need fun. So you can come and watch the current channel. Oh, he's sitting with his dad. Have they even really spoken very much? I feel like they, oh, he's left. Oh, oh that's nice. Okay, no, that's kind of cute actually. Okay, they're happy about it being new year. That's nice, yeah, another year. Why not? I'm gonna have Eleanor, once she's eaten, she can also do... She doesn't have any homework yet because she's not done any days at school, I guess. Sure thing, that's fine. She can come and play chess and that will get a skill up for her. I'm sitting here just getting all the kids like needs up and like through the house and everything. And I've just got a call from Tina Tinker asking if I want to go over to her house to hang out. So what if... <laughs> What if we went over to Tina's house and we spent some time with Tina and then this evening we go out with Clara and do New Year's with Clara and you know, start building them both up. Is that really bad? I feel like that's really horrific. We're gonna do it. Amazing. <laughs> We're actually feeling hungry, so maybe we can get some food at Clara's house. We should also see if we have the always welcome trait because that's a really, really useful extra trait to get. We do need to be careful though because I do believe that this is her partner, Yasmin. Yasmin's hella cute. Man, maybe we should go after both of them. Should we go after both of them? We won't do any romance with Tina. Oh, we do actually have some romance with Tina. Oof. Actually, do we have that bonus trait? I'm really curious. Uh, we do not. Do we have any lifetime? Oh, we have 2000. Is that enough? Nice, always welcome. I love that for us, amazing. Great, so then we can go in here and we can actually make some food. I wonder if we won't set fire to food in this house. <laughs> we will, oh my gosh, should we cook a grand meal? No, let's serve some brunch. We'll come in and do some, oh my gosh, let's make some cottage pie. 
Wowie. So we're gonna go into their house and have a chit chat. And then we will see if we can invite, like have them come and join the cooking. Hopefully she won't flirt with us in front of Yasmin. Tina. Oh my gosh, do they have a child? You didn't see. We simply don't know. Can you come and join our cooking please, Tina? Their house is actually, I mean, it's quite, it's an interesting house, but it's not a bad house. I feel like I've never been in this house. Um, oh my gosh, Clara. <laughs> Clara wants to go on a date. Clara, oh my gosh, Clara. We so will go on a date with you if you will just wait like a few hours. Clara, so cute that you want that though. Well, it's already done. Oh, we got level eight of the cooking skill. Look at us go. So we will have a little chit chat with her. We'll tell a funny story to her. Let's grab a serving together. I'm assuming it's just me and Tina in this group. I don't know where Yasmin went. Uh, she went somewhere. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, she's here. Yeah, she's she's chatting with the with the neighborhood child. I I guess she's not in our group though, so she's not gonna come back and have food, which actually is probably for the best. Oh, the child's here. Oh. Mm hmm Okay, we won't flirt in front of the child. I don't really want to know her child. That that seems like something I don't want to. I don't want to get involved in that. At least we've had a nice meal. You know, he's feeling better. A meal that we did not catch on fire. Can you imagine? We're going to take it with us and hopefully we can put it in our fridge. And she's, I mean, she's cleaning everything up. Look at her go. Good job, girly. I don't know whether the kid will react to them being romantic, but we're going to try and offer her a rose and see what happens. I'm hoping the kid won't react. I'm assuming she won't because it's The Sims 4. Yeah, she doesn't care. Perfect. Um, we just need to be a little bit careful with what we do. She is being very responsive to all of our romantic advances. So we love that. I am seeing, oh, asked to be girlfriend. Oh, she's exploring right now. Amazing. Can, can we have like multiple girlfriends? We can, can't we? You know, let's just, let's get things going. Let's ask to be girlfriend. I don't know what, she has a partner, so I actually don't know whether she'll say yes. Um, but let's ask to be girlfriend and then, yay, perfect. And then I'm seeing the option to dry, dive for thrills. And I don't know where that trash can is. She's not gonna be our partner for a while, I don't think. I think we still wanna go for Clara first, but we'll go and dive for thrills. Where is the, where is the, 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 the thing they're going to do this in? Where are they? Are they really traveling for this? This is determination. Where are we going? This is this is a real. You gotta really want to do this. This is going out of your way to woohoo in a bin, <laughs> in a public bin. But you actually went out of the way of like a bed. You know, I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. You know, <laughs> she's got a partner at home. I guess this maybe this is safer. I don't know. I don't know where Yaz is, but they are um. <laughs> Oh dear. Goodness me. Well. That's happening. <laughs> Ew. Yeah, I, I don't like this. Ew. Ew. Jenna? No! <laughs> I heard you became friends with Tina Tinker. She's pretty cool. Jenna, I swear to God, I cannot. I cannot with this. She... <laughs> She knows, she knows everything. Okay, well, that's done. That's something we don't have to think about ever again. We never have to acknowledge that that happened. We're gonna get ready for our date with Clara here, <laughs> which is really bad. Tina is now our girlfriend, so that's great. That's, that's, that's wonderful. Hi, Jenna. Thank you for suggesting I head out with Dom. 
I can't, she keeps ringing. She, honestly, I cannot deal with her. We're gonna have to make her our girlfriend, Teal. Should we get engaged to her, but just always just be girlfriends with everybody else? I can't remember if we've been marrying everybody else. I don't think we have. That's not really been like an important thing. Maybe we could propose at most, but just like never get married because we don't want to draw attention to ourselves. That's the thing. I feel like if we get married and we keep like, becoming widowed then then it's like suspicious then people start paying attention if people like if you get married and it's like on a public document you know i don't think we really need to do anything else though so where should we don't go and talk with the child that's a really horrific idea we're going to head out then let's ask clara on a date where is she oh my gosh jenna i heard you and tina started dating congrats on landing on your girlfriend jenna <laughs> Stop. Yes, I see you're in a good mood. Maybe we should head out and grab a drink. Yes. Is this a date? I'm not, is this a date? Oh, we're here. Oh my goodness. Is this Clara? We're grabbing drinks. So that's what we'll, we'll grab some drinks and then we'll ask her on a date while we're here. Let's not gush about partner. Don't do that. Let's kiss her hands. Let's hope Tina Tinker doesn't turn up because Tina does tend to turn up wherever we go. Physical intimacy, let's kiss her. I don't know whether we've actually kissed Clara yet, but let's do it. You know, we are, we are riding that confidence. We are riding high. We are ready to start a second relationship in one day. Ooh. Clearly they um, have had a kiss before. Um, I don't think we can get in this door. I don't know why we came here. Um, she can hang out for a bit. And then she actually disappeared. <laughs> She said she could hang out and then she went to the void and disappeared into the void. Okay, well, let's actually plan a date. Ask on a date. Here we go. Clara, there we go. Oh, she's here. She is here. She's like right here with us and we're calling her. That's so awkward. So we are here and nobody else is. Great. Um, we will embrace. We will <laughs> offer her a rose. We're not going to give her relationship advice. Can we ask her to be our girlfriend? Ask about love life, uh, we'll kiss her hands. Hopefully nobody that we know turns up, i.e. her partner or mine. A we compassionate kiss. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Ask to be girlfriend. <laughs> two in one day, two in one day, two in one day. Oh, look at this guy. <laughs> there we go, second girlfriend. Oh, did it not? Here we go, Clara became the girlfriend of Ronald. I wonder if Jenna's gonna text us about this one too. Oh, it's the New Year's thing, gotcha. We're having some wine. Oh, it's almost Elena's birthday, goodness. Perfect, and let's, where should we go and sit and chat? Let's, let's sit and sit together here. Um, let's not stay at the bar where people could find us. Let's go over here. This is not a bad little venue, I don't mind this. I like anywhere that has like the two seat to seat so we can we can go and be undisturbed. We have to ask her to leave her spouse is what we need to do. I don't know whether she'll do that if we don't have enough friendship with her. I'm not sure. I'm just gonna spend some time getting their relationship out. We've got the gold on the date. So we're pretty good on the romance bar. It's honestly just the friendship bar. So let's get that up. Found it, convinced to leave spouse. I don't know whether she'll do it. You would think that we would have to be more friendly with her, but I'm not sure. So let's see. <gasps> She's gonna do it. We're not even like halfway friends with her. Ronald has convinced Clara to leave her spouse. We're not even like good friends with her. Oh my gosh, and now we can propose? We don't, I don't think we really want to. I don't think there's anywhere we can woohoo here either, which is unfortunate really. So has she already left the spouse or are they still together? We missed the countdown. Well, happy new year, everybody. Incredible, just cannot believe. Um, she's gonna leave and I guess leave her spouse. <laughs> She's time to go home and break up with Dom. Is it Dom? Is her spouse Dom? Oh no, it's Bjorn. Baby Bjorn, baby Bjorn. So I guess the next stream 
<laughs> this is not Twitch. Um, in the next part, we are going to, I guess, get Clara to move in with us. Oh, we also get a notification in this part that someone is about to age up into a teen. So we'll get them into a teen. We'll hopefully get their grades up. We'll get them moved out. And then we can start having more babies. But we'll get Clara in and maybe we can get a bunch of partners on the run. So we've we've got Clara. Um, obviously, she's going to be the next one to move in and actually help us out. And now we've also got Tina as like our partner. That's nailed down and set in stone. Good to go for straight after Clara. Maybe we'll also get to know Tina's partner. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> would that be awful? But what I really would be interested to know is who you guys would like to see Ron romance and have some babies with. And, you know, maybe meet a bit of a um, an untimely end. Yeah, let me know any sims that you would like to see Ron get matched up with, shacked up with, and have some babies with. But until the next part, I am all done here. So thank you so much for hanging out with me today in the 100 Baby Revenge Challenge. I had an absolute blast. Today felt like we done a lot, but also we did nothing. <laughs> Mind you, let's think. We we have two new girlfriends now. We went on, I guess, like three dates. Jenna, Jenna knows what's up. Jenna continuously does stuff. Like she's just always there or she just sends messages. She just knows. I wonder, should we make Jenna our fiance through it all? Maybe we should have the relationship formed already. Maybe do some things with her on the side. Like maybe we go on dates with her. Like maybe we need to like build that relationship a little bit while we're also doing all this stuff. Let me know what you feel about all that. But right now, now, I am going to end this episode right here. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. It helps the channel grow just a little bit. Helps us out, helps the algorithm know that this is a nice place to be. But that is the end of this video. So thank you so much for hanging out with me and I will see all of you in the next one. Bye guys. I cannot believe that we got two girlfriends today, both of which had partners. We got Clara to break up with her husband. She's almost certainly gonna move him in this next part. Jenna knows everything. This challenge is wild.